So in the last video, Patanjali was talking about yoga is removal of or complete eradication of different mental states. And when that happens, the consciousness gets established in its true nature. And that is the goal of the yoga. And in this video, we'll take a look into what are these different mental states that Patanjali is saying that removal of these mental states is what leads to the yoga. So he says, there are five kind of mental states and those can be constructive or destructive in terms of our goal of establishing the consciousness in its true nature. So they can either lead you to that goal or they can you know, take you in the opposite direction of that goal based on how you are using them, or what effect they are having on you. So these are the following five mental states he talks about, Chitta Vrattis. The first is Pramana, something that really exists. The second is Viparya, something that exists but being misunderstood. The third is Vikalpa, something that doesn't really exist but we are just imagining by ourselves. The fourth is Nidra, which is sleep, like lack of any existence. And the fifth is the Smriti, which is memory, which is basically our memory about these different experiences that we had in the, these different states. Yeah. So let's take them one by one in more detail. The first is Pramana. Pramana is, means that something which actually exists. For example, the camera in front of me is actually something which exists. right? And this is the first layer of mind on top of consciousness. Yeah. So he says this is the Pramana and it, has, it can be of three kinds. Right? So something that really exists, I can just see it with my own senses. So there is no doubt about it. Or it could be something which I can infer using my intelligence. For example, something like there is a smoke and I can infer that there will be a fire there. Right? Fairly believable uh, objects. Right? Some experience that we actually we can, you know, which is like a proof. So first is... A, First of these kind is something that I am actually experiencing. Second is something that I can infer. And third is something which could be a testimony of someone who is very believable. Right? One example can be something like a Yoga Sutra. In India, scripture is considered something which can be believed. Yeah? Because uh, it is written by the people with a more finer understanding. So we can believe at certain level what, what uh, Patanjali is saying is true. Right? Or it could be something like um, some person you really trust and he's saying something about something, you can trust that person, right? So that kind of a knowledge, that kind of a knowledge, he refer here as a Agam. Pramana Anuman and Agam. A Pratyach Anuman and Agam is called Pramana, right? So that is the first layer of mental content, first layer of mental states, uh, first Chitta Vritti. Yeah. The second is what he calls Viparya. Something that is there, but we are misunderstanding it. Yeah, the wrong understanding. The classic example here is the rope and the snake. There is a rope, but we are misunderstanding because of the lack of light or something like that. We are misunderstanding it as a snake. Actually, snake is not there. It is rope. Yeah. So that kind of knowledge, that kind of um, uh, object and its understanding is called the viparya, the second layer of chitravartis. Yeah. The third layer of Chitravati is what he calls Vikalpa, which is totally based on imagination, right? Something maybe like, uh, like we have seen some movie, there is a spider who bites a person and now he has become a spider-man and now he is, he can, you know, some web is coming out of his hand and he can, completely imaginary stuff. There is no truth in this at all, right? So that kind of knowledge, that kind of understanding is called Viparya. It's a third layer of Chitta Vrattis. The fourth layer, he says, is when there is no Pratya, when there is no object, in that case, the state of mind is called Nidra, right? Sleeping. When you're sleeping, there is no object of consciousness in that sense. That layer is called sleeping layer, and that is the fourth layer of Chitta Vritti. And the fifth is what he calls Smriti, right? So Smriti is basically memory. Memory means... All these four different states that we experience, all these four different chitta vrattis, based on that we have some, you know, we accumulate these experiences and when we are sitting by ourselves, these memories are coming inside our mind, right? So those are the 
fifth kind of chitta vrittis yeah so these are the five chitta vrittis that uh, five mental content five mental states that patanjali is saying the removal of them the eradication of them ultimately leads to the consciousness to establish in its true nature they are not the consciousness at all right they are they are being superimposed on the consciousness and that is how the consciousness is identifying itself with these different mental states yeah and removal of these states will lead to the yoga so again just for quick uh, uh, repetition what he means by five different mental state in some other words you can say right understanding whatever is there we are understanding it properly wrong understanding something else is there and we are understanding it as something else uh, imaginary in the understanding there is nothing there we are just understanding something by our own imagination uh, no understanding there is nothing there and past understanding right whatever happened based on these different kind of experiences we are just reimagining those experiences yeah. these are the chitta vrittis and these are the one uh, the eradication of these leads to the real experience of consciousness where consciousness is getting established in its true nature which is formless and nameless yeah